Welcome back to another video, and this time I'll show you how to keep your ether blade forever plus a new weapon glitch. So let's try and glitch 100 likes on this video to help my channel grow, and season 6 drops soon, so be sure to subscribe so you never miss out on one of my uploads. In my last video, I showed you how you can get a backpack full of free scorchers, so be sure to check out that video in the description. This time I'll show you how you can keep the same ether blade for every single game. You can get the ether blade schematic from the dark ether portal on the little island, or you can just ask for help in our discord linked in the description. Once you equip the ether blade in game, you will lose it once you exfil since you're only allowed to keep it for one match, but there is an exploit you can do to bypass that, and big shout out to Silent9 for finding it. Ether blades can one shot kill any zombie whether they are tier 2 or tier 3, and they can kill multiple enemies at once which makes this the best lethal that you can use in each game. Containment levels are also very useful in zombies, and you can gain these by completing contracts. Tier 3 contracts are the quickest way to gain containment levels, and the more contracts you complete, the more containment points you get. The max containment level is 100 points, and these will reward you with in-game bonuses. But you do lose 25 containment levels every time you get eliminated, so make sure you play safe. You can instantly exfil from the game by using the Bad Signal Story Mission, and this will work with any Story Mission portal. It's located in Tier 2, so be ready for Tier 2 zombies. Activate the portal and then vote yes, and you will need to close the game when you see the warping animation, and I'm doing this glitch on the PlayStation 5. When you restart the game, you will notice that you kept all your gear, your weapons and loot, and even the ether blade. This means you can use it again in every match, as long as you always use the portal glitch to leave each game. You'll also keep your ether blade by doing the duplication glitch, but this won't keep your containment levels since you need to get eliminated to set up a tombstone. Here is another neat little exploit working in zombies, and for this one you will need to own the Sweet Siren Blueprint for the WSP Swarm. Equip the blueprint into your insured slot and unequip the magazine and the conversion kit, then equip the factory stock and re-equip the conversion kit to glitch out the gun. Now we need to equip attachments into the slots that were empty on the original blueprint, so unequip the other blueprint attachments and then equip some ammo, a rear grip, and an optic. You can then save it as a custom mod, but make sure you don't unequip it from your insured slot. When you bring it into the game, you will notice it has all the attachments from the original blueprint, plus it also has the extra attachments I stuck on it. It has the 50 round mag equipped even though you saw that I removed that attachment. And something extra strange happens when we exfil with this gun. Ammo can be a problem with this gun since the fire rate is so fast, but it has some nice killing power even though I prefer weapons that are not akimbo. Once you've left the game, make sure you do not unequip the blueprint. Instead, head right back into another match and watch what happens to the gun. You will notice it no longer has the conversion kit equipped, making this the weirdest blueprint ever. Simply unequip the blueprint and then re-equip it again to make it a Kimbo, or just leave it inside your loadout after a match to remove the conversion kit. It will still have the other attachments like the 50 round mag, and getting headshots with this gun is much easier than the Akimbo version. Hopefully this video has helped you guys out, and we got more videos planned for Season 6, so be sure to subscribe. If you made it this far, then say the secret word LASER in the comments. Thank you guys so much for the amazing support, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!